High Resolution Imaging Science Experiment is a camera on board the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. The 65 kg £140 million instrument was built under the direction of the University of Arizona's Lunar and Planetary Laboratory by Ball Aerospace and Technologies Corp. It consists of a 0.5 m aperture reflecting telescope, the largest so far of any deep space mission, which allows it to take pictures of Mars with resolutions of 0.3 m pixel about one foot, resolving objects below a meter across. Horizon has imaged Mars landers on the surface, including the ongoing Curiosity and Opportunity rover missions. History In the late 1980s, Alan Delamere of Ball Aerospace began planning the kind of high-resolution imaging needed to support sample return and surface exploration of Mars. In early 2001 he teamed up with Alfred McEwen of the University of Arizona to propose such a camera for the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter MRO, and NASA formally accepted it November 9, 2001. Ball Aerospace was given the responsibility to build the camera and they delivered Horizon to NASA on December 6, 2004 for integration with the rest of the spacecraft. It was prepared for launch on board the MRO on August 12, 2005, to the cheers of the Horizon team who were present. During the cruise phase of MRO, Horizon took multiple test shots including several of the Moon and the Jewel Box cluster. These images helped to calibrate the camera and prepare it for taking pictures of Mars. On March 10, 2006, MRO achieved Martian orbit and primed Horizon to acquire some initial images of Mars. The instrument had two opportunities to take pictures of Mars the first was on March 24, 2006 before MRO entered aerobraking, during which time the camera was turned off for six months. It was turned on successfully on September 27, and took its first high-resolution pictures of Mars on September 29. On October 6, 2006 Horizon took the first image of Victoria Crater, a site which is also under study by the Opportunity rover. In February 2007 seven detectors showed signs of degradation, with one IR channel almost completely degraded, and one other showing advanced signs of degradation. The problems seemed to disappear when higher temperatures were used to take pictures with the camera. As of March, the degradation appeared to have stabilized, but the underlying cause remained unknown. Subsequent experiments with the engineering model M at Ball Aerospace provided definitive evidence for the cause, contamination in the analog to digital converters ADCs, which results in flipping bits to create the apparent noise or bad data in the images, combined with design flaws leading to delivery of poor analog waveforms to the ADCs. Further work showed that the degradation can be reversed by heating the ADCs. On 3 October 2007, Horizon was turned toward Earth, and took a picture of it and the Moon. In a full-resolution color image, Earth was 90 pixels across and the Moon was 24 pixels across from a distance of 142 million kilometers. On May 25, 2008, Horizon imaged NASA's Mars Phoenix lander parachuting down to Mars. It was the first time that one spacecraft imaged the final descent of another spacecraft onto a planetary body. By 2010, Horizon had imaged about 1% of Mars's surface, and by 2016, the coverage was around 2.4%. It was designed to capture smaller areas at high resolution. Other instruments scan much more area to find things like fresh impact craters. 
On April 1, 2010, NASA released the first images under the HeWish program in which the public suggested places for Horiz to photograph. One of the eight locations was Aurium Chaos. The first image below gives a wide view of the area. The next two images are from the Horizon image. The following three images relate to the first images taken under the HeWish program. The first is a context image from CTX to show where the Horizon is looking. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Examples of Horizon images. The following group of images show some significant images taken by the instrument. Some of these hint at possible sources of water for future colonists. The following set of pictures show first a full image of a scene and then enlargements from parts of it. A program called HighView can be used to produce more detailed views. Some pictures are in color. Harais takes a color strip down the middle only. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Purpose. The Harais camera is designed to view surface features of Mars in greater detail than has previously been possible. It has provided a closer look at fresh Martian craters, revealing alluvial fans, viscous flow features and ponded regions of pitted materials containing breccia clast. This allows for the study of the age of Martian features, looking for landing sites for future Mars landers, and in general, seeing the Martian surface in far greater detail than has previously been done from orbit. By doing so, it is allowing better studies of Martian channels and valleys, volcanic landforms, possible former lakes and oceans, sand dune fields such as Hagel and Nili Patera, and other surface landforms as they exist on the Martian surface. The general public is allowed to request sites for the Horiz camera to capture. See he wish. For this reason, and due to the unprecedented access of pictures to the general public, shortly after they have been received and processed, the camera has been termed, "...the people's camera". The pictures can be viewed online, downloaded, or with the free HighView software. <laughs> Design Horizon was designed to be a high-resolution camera from the beginning. It consists of a large mirror, as well as a large CCD camera. Because of this, it achieves a resolution of 1 microradian, or 0.3 meter at a height of 300 km. For comparison purposes, satellite images on Google Mars are available to 1 meter. It can image in 3 color bands: 400 to 600 nanometers blue, green or BG, 550 to 850 nanometers red and 800 to 1000 nanometers near infrared or near. Horizon incorporates a 0.5 meter primary mirror, the largest optical telescope ever sent beyond Earth's orbit. The mass of the instrument is 64.2 kg red color images are at 20,048 pixels wide 6 km in a 300 km orbit, and blue-green and near are at 4,048 pixels wide 1.2 km. These are gathered by 14 CCD sensors, 2048 times 128 pixels. Horizon's onboard computer reads out these lines in time with the orbiter's ground speed, meaning the images are potentially unlimited in height. Practically this is limited by the onboard computer's 28 gigabits memory capacity. The nominal maximum size of red images compressed to 8 bits per pixel is about 20,000 times 126,000 pixels or 2,520 megapixels and 4,000 times 126,000 pixels 504 megapixels for the narrower images of the BG and near bands. 
A single uncompressed image uses up to 28 gigabits. However, these images are transmitted compressed, with a typical max size of 11.2 gigabits. These images are released to the general public on the HORIZE website via a new format called JPEG 2000. To facilitate the mapping of potential landing sites, HORIZE can produce stereo pairs of images from which the topography can be measured to an accuracy of 0.25 m. Topic: Images naming conventions. Horizon images are available to the public, so it can be useful to know how they are named. This is an excerpt from the official documentation. Name: Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than ppp underscore uu underscore ttt underscore fff underscore c dot m PPP equals mission phase int equals integration and testing cal equals calibration observations ATL equals ATLO observations KSC equals Kennedy Space Center observations SVT equals sequence verification test LAO equals launch CRU equals cruise observations April equals Mars approach observations AEB equals aerobraking phase TRA equals transition phase PSP equals primary science orbit November 2006 to November 2008 REL equals relay phase E01 equals first extended mission phase if needed. EXX equals additional extended missions if needed. U equals MRO orbit number. TTTT equals target code. FFFF filter, CCD designation. REDORED 9 red filter CCDs. IR10 IR11 near infrared filter CCDs BG12 BG13 blue green filter CCDs C equals channel number of CCD 0 or 1 the target code refers to the latitudinal position of the center of the planned observation relative to the start of orbit the start of orbit is located at the equator on the descending side, night side of the orbit. A target code of 0000 refers to the start of orbit. The target code increases in value along the orbit track ranging from 0000 to 3595. This convention allows the file name ordering to be time sequential. The first three digits refers to the number of whole degrees from the start of orbit, the fourth digit refers to the fractional degrees rounded to the nearest 0.5 degrees. Values greater than 3595 identify observations as off Mars or Special observations. Examples of target code 0000 planned observation at the equator on descending side of orbit. 0900 planned observation at the South Pole. 1800 planned observation at the equator on the ascending side, day side of the orbit. 2700 planned observation at the North Pole. Off Mars and special observations values 4000 star observation 4001 Phobos observation 4002 Deimos observation 4003 special calibration observation Topic Footnotes <laughs> 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 
Topic. See also. Long range reconnaissance imager, telescope imager on New Horizon probe. Topic. External links. Horizon official website. Beautifulmas Tumblr from Horizon. Help NASA categorize images taken by Horizon. Patterns of Mars 12 high resolution photos by Horizon on www.time.com. Browse map of images from ASU. How Horizon works, lesson 1, camera basics. How Horizon works, lesson 2, resolution and binning. Multimedia created with Horize imagery, data by Sean Doran and Kevin Gill, see also Sean Doran's Flickr album No. 1 and No. 2 and Kevin Gill's Flickr album.